Hey guys, it's me, Arlene. Welcome to the Delicious Delights channel. Today I want to do a quick unboxing video for you guys and probably just a first sniff. As you can see here, I have a fragrance from Swiss Arabian, Casablanca Eau de Parfum. So this is my very first fragrance from the house of Swiss Arabian. I've seen a little bit of them on social media here and there, kind of interested in the house to be honest now. Um, how I heard about this fragrance is, I think it was in a gourmand video, one of my subscribers recommended this to me and said something like, you won't be sorry if you, or something like that. And I'm sorry, I can't remember who recommended it, but that comment, I remembered that comment uh, specifically. And then I went online to check the notes on Casablanca and it intrigued me even more. So before I open this, oh, by the way, this was a gift, an early Valentine's Day gift from my husband. How he knows um, what I want is I have a wish list <laughs> on uh, Fragrantica and um, it's not that big of a list, but it is things that I'm kind of interested, maybe one day owning or one day blind buying someday or just things that I'm interested in. And he just basically went in and uh, chose a few. So this was one of them. So the notes in Casablanca, it, let me just read it out here. So the main accords are fruity, musky, caramel, sweet, and amber. Sounds awesome. And then in the notes here, this was released in 2016. In the notes, really, really nice notes. <laughs> There's uh, green apple and grapes in the top. In the mid, there's patchouli, iris, and woody notes. And in the base notes, there's musk, amber, caramel, uh, suede, and Peru balsam. And I might as well just read up the... Uh, the uh, right up here what it says Casablanca is a remarkable story that morphed that's morphed into an interpretation it is more than a city and more than a movie a tribute to eternal and selfless selfless love Casablanca is a sense of intimate moments and the simple pleasures of life so I thought that was very very well written and intriguing and if you go down to the part where it says most similar to or smells like, reminds me of, it reminds two people of La Danza del Libelluel by Nobile 1942, which is a fragrance I really, really have enjoyed for a long time. I don't own it, but I have tested. I even had like two decants of it and finished it. So anyways, <laughs> let's get into this fragrance. So it says here... Awarded Super Brands UA, uh, United Arab Emirates Choice 2019. This is an affordable fragrance. I saw it online for like 30, between 30 and 35 euros, which is great for a 100 ml bottle. And after looking at the notes and stuff, I did go online uh, on YouTube did a search of this and apparently it's already popular in the community so now it intrigued me even more so I was just like super stoked to have um, uh, received this as a gift okay it says Swiss Arabian at the top SA as their logo and then it has some information here flammable don't use near, near fire all that stuff okay oh there's a there's a little booklet here let's see quickly okay what's in here Oh, it's just a catalog, a small like picture catalog of a lot of their other perfumes. Casablanca, Ultima, Queen, Essence de la Vie, Edge. 
Al Amakin. I think I've seen, I've heard about this one. I think one of my subscribe. oh yes, <laughs> one of my uh, viewers, subscribers, friends just got this one. Said it was really sweet, mixed between black orchid and something else, something like that. Atar al Sheila, Atar al Kutra, Oud al Kutra, Oud Maknoon. If you guys have any recommendations for any of these, please, or anything from this house, please uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your recommendations. Okay, then Bakur Kashka, Bakur Mawaki. Yeah, I'm going to have a hard time really pronouncing these. Dakun Al Haram, Dakun Al Jazeera. Ah, these two. I've seen, I've heard about these two. This one I heard about on Instagram from one of um, the people that I enjoy following. Uh, this one apparently is similar to Interlude Man by Amouage, which is a house I, which is a fragrance I really, really like. And this one apparently smells like um, Oud Bouquet. And I think I heard this, I heard this from Fragrancy, who's another uh, Dutch reviewer who should upload more, <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, so Finally, you guys, thanks for being so patient. Let's go see this bottle. Ooh, wow. That's really, really nice. I'm just going to close this box. Because open boxes bother me, to be honest. Oh, wow. It's quite heavy, first and foremost. Really, really nice. Simple Casablanca, it says there. Then we have a sticker with the batch code. Natural spray, expiry, 2024 in the month of, is that August 8th? 36 months. Anyways, so that is what the bottle looks like. I think it's very nice. I like the weight of it. It just looks like a really nice, classy looking, simple bottle design. We have the cap here, which is a very light plastic, which is fine. I mean, <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> uh, everything else, the bottle is really nice and stuff. So let's get my first quick uh, impressions of this perfume. Let's see if it reminds me of the uh, Danza del Libelluo by Nobile 1942. Oh, this is strong. <laughs> so this is my first sniff. Oh my gosh. This is really, really, really nice. So I'm getting a sweetness in here. Yeah, I do actually get the green apple right away as well. It's kind of like more of a sweet green apple rather than a sour. Real, there's something really crisp about this as well. Oh, the sweetness in here does smell caramelly. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm pretty much getting just at the top here on the test strip. Really, really sweet, sweet green apple, not very sour. Really, really sweet um, caramel scent. It's not like the syrupy kind, though, that I'm getting, picking up on the test strip. It's more like the smell of caramel or the taste of a caramel without it being thick and syrupy and this feel like drizzling caramel over like ice cream or something. No, I'm just getting the taste and the uh, the smell of caramel, which is super, super sweet. Wow. I really am liking this. What else do I get here? Um, hmm. Mm. 
With the Danza del Labalul, I found that one to be also quite milky. Almost like, maybe like a cereal type of scent. But this is not milky at all. It's more transparent. It's not watery. It's not like a watery, juicy apple. It's more like the sweetness of a green apple. Tart, yes, but not sour. So I do plan on reviewing this in more detail, of course. These are just my quick first impressions. Based on these first impressions, I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> Yeah, it smells really nice. It doesn't smell cheap. I don't smell any like weird chemical thing going on so far. Just a really, really gorgeous, elegant kind of sweetness. Gourmand, yes. Oh, wow. And very, very like sensual. There's something <laughs> very sensual about this. So yeah, those are my quick first impressions. Um, thank you to the viewer who, suggest, who suggested this to me. Um, I can't wait to try this out on my skin. Do, respect, uh, do expect a future uh, full review on this. Uh, just based on my first sniff, I can already tell that I'll probably like this. <laughs> I'm wondering what this is here. It looks like something has rubbed off. I probably at some point said Swiss Arabian maybe and then I don't know it rubbed off but yeah uh, <laughs> that's it for me today uh, thank you guys so much for watching please leave uh, your thoughts on this perfume if you've tried it I'd love to hear that um, and I'll see you guys in the next video take care guys bye bye